Hello everybody. Dating and development here. I hope we are all keeping well today on the 2nd of June. If you know who I am, you know who I am. If you don't know who I am, now you know. And before we get started on today's video, we have a word from a very kind sponsor. There's your anus. You see it? You see it? Dad was my anus. Thank you for that. So, this topic is all about breakups yet again but more in the sense of how to get over a breakup now if you watched my previous video you will know why breakups happen the two most common reasons should i say and also if all breakups are real or not this is more so if your breakup is pretty much real okay and before we get into it breakups are a crap thing they're horrible like you're away from that person you're with that person no more who makes you feel good or I suppose with your other half, the person who kind of adds to your completeness, that all those memories you've had of, you know, the good times, you could be traveling or just sitting down at home, chatting, drinking, eating, you know, the good things, all gone. And you don't have that no more. And you're just reminiscing of times gone by, wishing that things go back to the same way. And, being honest, I'm the kind of person who thinks that things happen for a reason, like breakups happen for a reason, you know? And it's only that when you take the time after you've passed the grieving process, which I'll discuss in a few moments, that you can have that introspective uh, look as to why the breakup happened and how you can better yourself in the future as to avoid a breakup like that happening again like that is if you want to get into a relationship or not i think i might do a podcast which might be a controversial topic in which that heartbreak should be a rite of passage for men and women maybe but i'm looking more so towards men but anyways let's get started so ways to get over a breakup well one of the first things that i would do is exercise now, that wouldn't be going to the gym, like, you know, doing really heavy deadlifts while tears are coming down your face and not just from the heaviness of the weights and your heart, but also, you know, who wants to look at a, at a person crying in the gym, it's like, how's your form? Oh, oh good. <laughs> she left me while you're just doing your bicep curls, or whatever the case. I'm not talking about that. I'm looking more like going for a run. Like, Elliot Hulse has a great video about this as well. And one of the first things he mentions is, just go for a run. Go for a run, get your blood pumping, just get some oxygen into your body, rid your body of all that badness, <laughs> I suppose, bad toxins, everything else, and just, you know, make yourself feel a bit more alleviated, more alive, and not so droll. Because if you don't really exercise during your breakup, like, you'll notice that your energy levels are depleted. Like, you don't feel like doing anything, you're just kind of stuck in a mundane... I suppose routine of feeling sad and obsessing over what happened and doing nothing else to get you back onto track because at the end of the day people are going to be there for you and to support you but the only person who can save yourself is you and you have to put in the work and that being said about obsessing thinking about things and grieving it's perfectly fine to grieve about this kind of thing you know you have to allow yourself to grieve there's no point in bottling in your emotions, you know, because if you, if you do, it's like, it'll just be a massive outburst. And then that's going to be causing some major collateral damage to yourself or to other people around you. But it's going to damage you a lot in the process. You have to grieve. And just because us men, yeah, there is a stigma of becoming emotional or talking about our feelings. But talking about your breakup or something to your male friends or to family members even who you're close to is a great thing because it just gets things off of your chest instead of keeping it inside your head. Keeping it, that's not even a word. Keeping it inside your head and just replaying things over and over again. It's not a, it's not a great state of mind to be in. And if grieving for you includes just watching Netflix in bed, just like eating junk food for a few days, like, you know, go for it. Like, do it. Get it out of your system. You need to grieve. It's, it's loss. You have lost someone. You need to grieve. You need to 
get used to the fact that that person's not there anymore and you have to get that out of your system and then once you kind of getting over that grieving process and everything else you want to throw out photos letters things like that that you got from her because those kind of things hold energy and you don't want to be reminded of someone who broke your heart so say for example you might have i don't know a few cards from her or some nice notes or something like that and you're keeping them and they're obviously not in the picture anymore the person who broke up with you and you have those things from that person that's, that's holds that energy of like what everything that they have done to you or how they have made you feel so you gotta throw those kind of things away because you don't want to be trying to improve yourself but then something catches you in the corner of your eye and it could be from them and then all those emotions you felt suddenly come flooding back to you i don't think you want to be making progress and feel like that again and as i aforementioned it's good to connect to your friends talk about how you are meet up with them like you need to socialize and reconnect with those who you have not talked to because you need your support network the person who broke up with you has their support network obviously but you need your support network and it's fine because we get, when we get into a breakup or are in a breakup phase we tend to socially distance ourselves away from our friends and that and rather be in our own company but that's not good because we do we are social people we're social creatures and we need that interaction so it's great to meet up your friends if you start off with once a week it's baby steps once a week twice a week you know build it up but obviously not go to every day because you need your own time too but try and make an effort to see your friends in that more often and more importantly before you get back into dating after a breakup you need to take the time to heal you need to heal because you're, there's no point going back into dating and not being fully healed because if you're still that damaged or i don't want to say damaged but just not fully healed from that situation then that energy is going to attract others to you who who may not have perfectly healed as well it's just the law of attraction and in that sense you're healing begin self-improvement become a better version of you there's nothing more i can advocate than this is to become a better version of yourself and that means going to the gym take up a hobby go back out to working on your life's mission because what a lot of people tend to do and what i've noticed with men is that when they get into a relationship the woman becomes the sole focus of their life the woman becomes their purpose and that's not really an advantageous place to be in it's not beneficial for you because if you put a woman first she's going to slightly resent you and she might be thinking oh my god okay you cancelled your friends for me this and other she might like it at first but as it goes on and goes on and goes on and goes on and you put her first before everything else she'll slowly start to resent you and that's not masculine energy where you're putting your woman first just your life's mission and that first you're first then your woman second and if you're putting your life's mission first and everything else, that stops you from becoming needy and insecure around your woman and everything else. And not asking where you stand with her. So heal and self-improve. Go back to doing something in which you have confidence in doing or that you're confident doing. And something I read in a book not so long ago, and it's a great little point, now I never thought of this myself, is to practice gratitude. And appreciate all the good things you have in the world and this to helps develop a positive mindset so every time you wake up in the morning rattle off 10 things to yourself out loud or write them down even that you are grateful for in life and you find yourself repeating things for a few days that's perfectly fine but find things you're grateful for and that will change your mindset from going from a positive mi negative mindset should i say to more of a positive one so in all exercise don't bottle up your emotions allow yourself to grieve throw out anything that reminds you of your girlfriend or boyfriend whether it be letters or something like that because they hold energy connect with your friends make sure make sure you take time to heal and begin self-improving and practice gratitude so those are all the ways i can think of in how you can heal yourself or improve yourself after a breakup so if you like the video make sure to like subscribe and share 
if you're listening to this on Spotify, please tell others about it. We're hitting 40 plays for the channel now since I shared it with other friends and that, which is pretty nice in the space of three days gone to 40 plays. That rhymed, but I'm not a rapper. So take care of yourselves. God bless. Stay safe. Don't forget to wash your hands and wipe. And be better. And go for more. Talk soon.